A Vaughn man was convicted in federal court this week for committing two federal wildlife crimes, including cloning sheep. Arthur Schubarth was convicted of conspiracy to violate the Lacey Act and violating it. Fundamentally, this was about greed, uh, where you had uh, Mr. Schubarth, the defendant, and his co-conspirators who created this scheme to make more money to have the largest sheep in the world uh, actually right here in Montana. Schubarth was ordered to pay over $24,000 in fines or restitution. The Lacey Act Reward Fund, that's what he was charged with in this uh, conspiracy of federal uh, law. So um, that assists uh, our partners in, in their investigations of similar Lacey Act violations. The Lacey Act essentially protects wildlife by creating civil and criminal penalties for a wide array of violations. In addition to the fines, Schubarth also faces jail time. Uh, he was sentenced to six months in federal prison and he was facing up to 10 years. I think the court took into account his age. He's 81 years old. According to the federal filings, Schubarth and his business engaged in the purchase, sale, and breeding of mountain sheep and mountain goats with the primary purpose of marketing and selling live animals and genetic material to captive hunting operations, meaning cloning. Put into an embryo uh, of one of his uh, ewes um, uh, that he would uh, have on his ranch uh, and then uh, created what uh, he called the uh, Montana Mountain King. This investigation has taken years of work by multiple agencies. She had a Montana fish wildlife and parks. You had the United States Fish and Wildlife Service that was the lead uh, investigative uh, entity. Uh, that's one of our federal partners. And then um, the Environmental, uh, Environment and Natural Resources Division, or ENRD, with uh, the United States Department of Justice there in this, of course, same uh, US DOJ as we are. Uh, but their attorneys who are experts uh, in this assisted us and and uh, prosecuting uh, him and will continue to assist us with the, with the co-conspirators moving forward. Representatives from the other agencies were not able to comment at this time due to ongoing investigations. Mr. Schubarth declined an interview for this story. So we take these seriously, we move aggressively, and really pleased um, uh, that there was accountability here. And again, again, but for his age, I think he would have gotten a longer federal uh, prison sentence. So we'll see what happens with the other co-conspirators. MTN did reach out to Schubarth, but he declined an interview. In Great Falls, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.